It's here, Commander. Excellent, Chief. Send them to briefing. Skybound 3 sent an archaeological team to a planet in the Cairo quadrant where these archival records are found. All we know about them so far is that the phrase campus life is embedded within the primary file. Lieutenant Commander Sotero will be responsible for retrieving the data that is contained on them. What's our mission, Commander? After Sotero finishes decryption, we'll meet the team from S3 and proceed to the suspected origin of the archives. Any idea where that might be? The team is fairly certain the data came from the Terran system, but would like to verify their suspicions. I'm a little nervous about that, Commander. Other ships have reported a number of anomalous readings between our present position and the Terran system. Concern noted. Proceed with caution, Karis. Let's pick up the team. Computer, establish datacom link and begin transfer. Calculate probabilities of archive's origin. There is a 99.99% probability the data source is the Terran system. Continuing analysis. An audio log is embedded in this file. Shall I play it for you? Begin audio replay and accelerate visual refresh. Count and count slide, it's just, it's a very pure fun. I mean, you don't have to feel like guilty of anything you've done or any, there's no peer pressure. Um, you can just totally be yourself. Through campus life, students from area schools get together to grow, to discover, to make decisions. We have a lot of fun, a lot of action-oriented activities that the teenagers want to get involved with. And good, good chance to be with a lot of your friends. We started talking about things that I really wanted to talk about with other people, and it was really cool. In program. Enter. Commander, after constructing an interface of old parts, I've completed my analysis of the file. Fascinating. As we suspected, they came from Earth. Excellent work, Sotero. I assume the dig team is transported aboard safely. Yes, we brought the last three up about an hour ago and have set a course for Earth. We'll probably be arriving in about ten days. I'll report my findings. Inns and Karras, report! Sir, we seem to have entered some sort of rift. The ship won't respond. Attempting to correct. Engineering! Sir, I'm initiating power to the reverse thrusters. That should slow us down. I'm doing everything I can here. Set flux regeneration to 150 millicrons and reroute secondary particle flow to inertial dampers. Overriding optimal sector auto sequence. Sir, she's coming about. 
but NAVCOM and chronometers are way off. What do you mean, way off? Well, um, it indicates that we've jumped eight galaxies and... Sir, you're not going to believe this. Quit stalling, Ensign. What is it? This indicates that the year is 1994. Ship's Log, ICS Graham, 3712. We have encountered a Terran time which by all indications has placed us in the year 1994. Sotero has concluded that this is roughly the same time period as the archives he is analyzing. I see it as a marvelous opportunity to explore our own past. Ensign, where are we? NAVCOM places us at Sector 001. Earth, sir. I've entered the coordinates of the original site of the archives. Computer, interpolate sensor data, and initiate virtual site image. Imaging sequence complete. Real-time replay on main viewer. Sotero, take Dr. Arcos and Lieutenant Ugellin for a visit to the surface. Yes, sir. And Sotero. Commander. The people there can't know who you are. May I help you? Well, um, we're from a small town in uh, France, yeah. We've heard about Camp Slife and would like to know more. You're from France? Just a minute and I'll get somebody for you to talk to. Tim, can you come up here and talk to some people, please? Thank you. Have a seat. Hi, I'm Tim Bolke. Hello. Good to meet you. So you want to know more about Camp Slife? Well, we got a lot of things happening. What's going on at Campus Life? Well, we have uh, some high ministry in the high schools, all the high schools in the city, Northeast, East, Southeast Lincoln High, and then we're also at Norris and Elkhorn and Raymond Central, three surrounding communities, and so we're uh, really excited about what's happening. A lot of good ministry going on, and looks like we're going to be starting another one or two this fall, too. How many teens do you think you've reached? We're estimating we've reached probably since September, the start of the school year, uh, probably 800 or so different teenagers we've reached. And uh, really, the total attendance of all the Campus Life rallies and meetings and things of over 5,000. What kind of activities go on at Campus Life? Well, we got a wide variety of activities. I mean, really action-oriented stuff, you know, really designed to draw teenagers in. And uh, then we have discussions on various topics, you know, that mean a lot to them, from dating to, you know, sex to alcohol, and just the very various topics that are important to teenagers today. And then we do a lot of small groups. Where's Campus Life headed? Well, we're excited about the future here. I mean, one place we really want to get into is junior high ministries. We get a lot of calls every year. Uh, probably the most concerned area of development is into junior highs, and so we're really going to start a ministry in junior highs, hopefully by this fall or in the next year and a half. I think we also want to develop, continue, and be open to expanding our ministry to surrounding communities, Waverly, Ashland, you know, Milford, wherever people are interested, adults are interested in seeing campus life. And also, as you can see, we're really limited in our office space here. We have nine salaried staff people now. We had three, you know, just three years ago. So we're really limited and crunched in our space. And also, we want a place where we can interact with students, maybe have a basketball court and also a meeting room where we could have meetings with teenagers, you know, large group meetings. 50, 60, 70, 80 kids could be in a room. So we're really looking to expand our office space. So those three areas are probably where we're going. What's your biggest concern for the future? Well, we really want to challenge people in this community to get involved, to get re-involved. What we really want to do is challenge people who have been affected by the ministry of campus life over the past many years in one way or another, either as a student or involved, to get re-in touch with campus life, to become really the next generation that helps us reach even more teenagers for Christ, um, whether it be in junior highs, surrounding communities, other high schools, you know, getting a new office facility is going to take a lot of people to get involved and uh, to help us financially through volunteer work and through their time and, uh, and talents. And uh, so we really want to reach and challenge that next generation of people. Something tells me your next generation will take you farther than you might think. 
Where we come from, the work of campus life is reaching galaxies. Community. Blessings on your work here, Tim. Sounds like you're doing wonderful things. We must be going now. Only one chance to get back. Wait, wait, what do you mean? Did she say galaxies? It's good that you're back, Sotero. Karis has just completed reprogramming the NAVCOM computer to take us home. Any good news, Dr. Arcos? There's more going on than we suspected. They plan on adding junior high ministry, adding more clubs, and because there's so many more students being added, they need more room. The only concern is that the new supporters just won't see what needs to be done. It would have been good to bring them on board to show them what has happened because of their foundation. Sir, but you told us not to say anything. I know that, Sotero. But look at how good God has been to us and to campus life. The rift is reopened, sir. Let's go home and keep the word going. Engage. Wow.